Hi there, on this video we're going to see how to create a neon effect like this in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to create a new document and we need to make sure that the color mode is on RGB. We can use the type tool to add some text, but as I like to create my own letters I will add the sketch I created earlier and with a pen tool I'm going to create a word. I'm going to remove the fill because I don't need it and I will increase the stroke to 20 points. I will also change the cap and the corner. And I also need to lock the sketch layer. Now we can hide the sketch layer and start working on the effect. We need to add a dark background so I will take the rectangle tool and I will create a dark background. I will move it behind the letters, I will lock the rectangle and I'm going to change the color of the letters to a very light blue. This will be the base of the neon effect, so it will be the inner part of the letters. Then we're going to open the appearance panel and we're going to add a second stroke by selecting it and click this button here. On the stroke which is on the back, I'm going to change the color to a bright teal color and I will increase the size to 44. Also I'm going to add an effect, so I'm going to blur and Gaussian blur. You can change the radius to as you like, but I will not add too much in order to look realistic, so around 24. Then I will make a copy of this stroke. And again I'm going to edit the one that is on the back. This time I'm going to increase the Gaussian Blur to around 62 and I will change the opacity to 72 as well as I will change the color mode to soft light. Now again I'm going to duplicate this stroke And on the one on the back, I'm going to increase the size to 77. Also, I'm going to change the opacity to 100%. We're going to duplicate it one more time. 
and this time we will increase it to 83. We can make it more interesting by changing the background. So I'm going to add a photo of a wall which I downloaded earlier. I'm going to move the background layer on the back and as you see because of the soft light mode you can see that the neon effect reflects on the background. I'm going to lock this layer and now I would like to add a borderline around the design with the same neon effect. So I'm going to add the rectangle tool and I will create a rectangle. Don't bother about the width of the stroke because I'm going to add the same effect. But this time instead of making the whole process I'm going to make this effect a graphic style so I can add it to any shape I like. So I'm going to take the selection tool and I will select the text with the effect and I open the graphic styles panel and I click to create a new graphic style so here it is I have the same here because I created earlier so I can select the rectangle and then I just click on the layer style and this is how to create this neon effect I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if so like share and subscribe See you on the next one.